Hello, hello, and welcome back to Gene Forge. Picking up where we left off in somewhere. Okay, where are we? <laughs> uh, oh wait, did we go back to Vakiri? Oh, okay. Apparently, we're in Vakiri. Yes, great start. Great start as always. I had apparently forgotten we had gone to Vakiri. Yeah, that's fine. Don't mind me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, last time we went to the refugee cave, which was interesting. Uh, didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, the Sholai there at least seem to be friendly. They they don't seem to be involved with Trajkov, so yeah, at, at least for now, I, I would say that it's generally that I have more trust in the uh, non Trajkov Sholai than I do in the Takers sort of thing. So I'm not going to be going ahead with any Taker stuff that involves them unless I'm sure sort of thing. Like because it it seems to me more like the Takers just want someone to take out you know, someone who could cause them problems sort of thing, because it doesn't seem like the ones there, if they were all telling the truth, of course, and then that situation is as it seems, um, yeah, the, the takers probably don't exactly like them. Their goals don't really align. They seem to be more sincere in their, you know, just wanting to explore and that they didn't land here intentionally exactly. And yeah, so... But yeah, so that was uh, that was interesting. But it also it led off to a few options here. Um, we still can't do that, unfortunately, and it continues to bother me that it's red. But yeah, I think we're going to be tackling this the, these combo these th this combo. Yeah, words. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to try and tackle both of these today. Uh, I'm not sure how that'll go, but uh, we are going to go the dock ruins first. Ruins, ruins. God damn it, words. I uh, <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Very good start as always. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can do both of them. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I think uh, after that, I mean, I definitely want to head this way, of course. Um, but I, I think we may want to visit this area again. Uh, I'm curious about like this, if this is going to splinter off anywhere, because it seems sort of like it's on a peak there. Like, you know, it's I don't imagine it's going to cross over to here because you've got the bridges. So this could sort of be a end point for this tree sort of thing. Like, I mean, I guess it's possible to go up in the mountains here, but... Yeah, and of course we have these to get back to, and yeah, we have a few things going on that I think we'll be covering in the next few parts, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think we're pretty much good to go, so let's just head to the dock runes. Runes? I feel like I, I sometimes, I, I mean, I think it's runes, but I, I feel weird about how I say it, like I put too much emphasis on the, like, ruin, like I'm saying ruins or something. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, we'll uh, take a look around, see what we got. Uh, I got a pylon. Okay, it's just some directions, some wheels. All right, well, this isn't a very threatening place so far, which I may regret saying. We'll see. Um, all right, 20 essence, that's it. Oh, hello. Got some very awesome looking guardian roamers. Man, I kind of, uh, I wish I'd, uh, I'm still tempted to change these over to the guardian version. They just look so cool. Like, I just like that they're so bright and like, they really stand out. Not necessarily like the pink, but just like how sort of vibrant they are. It's uh, pretty cool. Uh, probably want to jump bag those. Got to remember the control option. We don't have a ton of space due to my own poor inventory management. Okay, this is apparently just Roma Town. I guess it's, uh, I mean, they are dock ruins, so I guess it's abandoned, which makes sense. Ah, uh, should I be hasting? Alright, gotta, gotta get into things here and think properly. But no, it's probably fine with these, they're not too threatening. What, uh, what level are they? Nine. Okay, okay, that's not a, that's not really a big deal for our current crew, like, oh, another one. I feel pretty good with this setup still, like, uh, not a lot of worries, like, damn, I mean, they can hit 91, that's crazy. Like, that's so much damage. I think, um, I think maybe what we want to, damn it, the map, okay. I'll uh, to finish that thought, thought in a second. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter about the map, but I was just going to say, um, uh, you can't really get far, can you? You can go up there. Um, oh, that one's dead. I should have spread that out more. Um, what I was going to say is uh, regarding the Ascended Labs, because we still have that boss to deal with. I think that... How are we doing there? Yeah, I think, it'll, I think we'll try there at level 14, maybe. I mean, maybe we could try again next level, but I feel like two levels away would be a good sort of spot for us. Um, that'll sort of put us in a position where these guys are going to be pretty tough. Um, our control level will be really good. 
Well, I have a pretty damn big essence pool, at least relative to how this playthrough has gone so far. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how much is needed. Like, there might be strategy that could lessen that, but... Uh, the fact that at 1100 health, it's still, it's still pretty crazy, even though we're doing well, like... It, it's, it's a lot. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I guess the... We're still sort of exper... Oh, shit. Oh, that was pretty fine. Um, I mean, we still still... This is still sort of experimental in the changing over to the Romans. Um, but I do think they're going to be good. And especially probably for... Um, yeah, I was just wanted to point to this area when I was talking for. Um, but yeah, also that... Um, in that situation, we probably are better off with things like Romans that deal more direct single target damage. Um... You know, so that could also be good with that. But um, I also, I don't know when we're going to add a sixth. Um, like, I think we want to focus on smaller and stronger team. Like, that, that seems to work really well. Um, but, I mean, you know, presumably we're going to level and have enough essence to where we can still do that while adding another one. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, I guess we'll just see how we're looking in two levels. Um, I mean, I want to do that sooner than later. I just don't know, you know, how realistic that is. And I am not thinking right now. <laughs> Rambling here. Let's check this and have a sip of tea. Oh, which I apparently should have heated up more. It's uh, warm at best. Uh, okay, references are key, so we won't do that just yet. Might be able to find it around somewhere. Uh, I guess let's go around the outside, then we can uh, take a look in. Yeah, I don't know, this is an interesting dock as it's cold. There seems to be a quite a bit of like uh structures and that around here. Uh there's four of them. Let's haste up, why not? I think that's it's probably better off to actually do in most cases, I think. Can we hit both of them? Oh very good. Get that acid going. You get in there with a good smack. Very good. Oh, that was a nice hit actually. Very good. Can you uh, you go that one, you're closer. And can you hit that one? Yeah, good stuff. Ooh, so close. Oh, right, the acid. Wow, that actually... Yeah, I totally planned that. Yeah, totally planned. Oh, good. I guess there's... Yeah, I don't know what's with the garden... Eh, I was like garden roamers. I suppose they could be garden roamers. Why not? They can do what they want. Yeah, I don't know what's with them. Like, are they rogue creations or are they like... I mean, I guess they all are. But, I don't know. Like, the, the, the whole term, like, Guardian, I don't know if that has more meaning to it, or if they were just, like, you know, like, did they have some special role, or... Like, I mean, you've got, like, Volatiles and other, you know, various sorts of creatures, but uh, the term Guardian seems a bit more significant. What the hell is with that? Okay. It's kind of weird. Not sure if that's intended. Uh, Alright, got some crystals and shit. Yep, more of them. Let's do that. Hey, start, get in battle. That worked good, except I accidentally skipped my turn, I think. I don't know, I hit space. I don't know if it actually did or not. Uh, two more, please. Can we get. Oh, did I jump ahead? Nope. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Stack up that acid. That's definitely where uh, Clawbug comes into. Yeah, I still need to give the guy a name, don't I? Uh, I forgot about that. Ooh, nice. That worked out. Very good. Very good. Yeah, this is like, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty comfortable right now. Like, I mean, we've got to keep ahead on that though. Like, it's very easy to suddenly have things turn around, I feel like. Um, you know, like if we're just dealing with things that are easy to deal with sort of thing. Because I mean, these can still, like, they can still pack a punch. Like, it's not hard for us to lose a, a, a crew member or two. But I think uh, overall we're doing pretty well. Uh, yes, you can get from there. Very good. Poison and acid combo. Very good. And you can get up there as well. Very good. Can we manage that? I think we can. Very good. Oh, shit. That was a unfortunate misclick. What about you? Not quite. What about me? Not quite. What about you? Not quite. What about you? Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh... Let's give these guys a couple heals. Uh, that probably wasn't necessary, but doesn't hurt to keep the tanky ones up. Alright, yeah, this is uh, not really what I was expecting uh, for a dock. 
Okay, like there's not a lot of water for one. I mean, even on the map it's a strange spot, like, it's sort of in the middle, not on the coast. I'll take those. What do we got here? Lock or... Did that just work? Oh, east gate. As in... Okay, I'm not actually sure what that's referring to. What would be the east gate? Uh, I don't know. That? That's, no, that's, that's more in the corner. Oh, east. God damn it, I was... Okay, I was thinking... <laughs> I was mixing up east and west then. Okay, so that might be something then. So I guess we had to probably go down there anyway, so... Maybe we, we actually went the right way. And i got to remember to be tabbing. Make sure I'm actually looting containers. Okay. Hopefully not missing anything. Yeah, there's like... There's a lot more uh, architecture here than I was expecting. I don't know, it's it's kind of a nice area, other than the Guardian Romans. Like, I don't know, there's like equipment and things, there's tents, there's buildings. I don't know, it's more, I, I don't know. It's not exactly, it doesn't exactly feel like a dock. Right, I guess we can't get in there. Yeah, I don't know, I don't really, uh... Are we gonna find anything here, or... Is it just sort of a pass-through area? Oops. I mean, at least so far, it doesn't seem like it's going to take too long. Um, like, we've cleared a pretty large uh, portion of the map already. Very good. Man, they just do... Their damage is so good, isn't it? Hopefully we can get, like, a canister or two or something. That's always... It's always nice to find. Uh, that's another key reference. I assume we'll be able to find the key around here in some way. So we probably don't want to be burning through most of our lockpicks. Oh, magic tools, I should say. Um, anything in here? No, not really. And I guess, okay, double door to there for some reason. So we've got a few, couple of things locked up. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue to creep along. I don't know why I always say creep along. I feel like it's just, uh, it's fitting. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And, oh, that's, uh, might be missing a bit of a wall there. Um, okay, no key reference, so let's fuck you. <laughs> uh, that was a waste. That's too bad. I guess we got a little bit of XP. Still not a great trade-off, but I'll take it. Yeah, I was better off with that. It gave me more. Uh, alright. Um, yeah, alright, let's just keep opening it up, I guess. There's really not much here so far. I don't know if it's going to, like, open up to another area, maybe. Can we go in here? Yes. Oh, a desk. Interesting. Don't know if we ran into a lootable desk before. Not that there's anything in it. Oh, there's a servant mine here. Ah. Ooh. This case is locked, you know, the key. You can't get the lock open. What about this one? Ah, I was really hoping for, um, the shit we need for that other one. I was thinking, I, I feel like it, um... Like, Nutrient Solution or something is what I think of, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it has a slightly different name than that. Okay, yeah, I wasn't, uh... I wasn't expecting a servant mine here, that's interesting. Which, um... Uh... I guess we'll talk to first, because they may have the key. I like to explore first, but... They may have some information on the key, which may open up this as well as other areas. And if this is locked, and there's a key to it... We may actually be able to get that, uh, Nutrient shit, so... That'd be pretty nice. Uh, there is a dust and serving mind, servant mind here. It's not dead, it's not asleep, and it's not deranged. It does, however, look pretty stupid. One look at his dull eyes makes you suspect that it wasn't too alert when it was first created. Shaper, I am Tro. Welcome to the docks. It has been a long time since I received instructions. It doesn't seem to even have noticed his sentries in isolation. What is your purpose, servant mind? I am looking after the docks area. I admin it, look after this area. But what exactly do you do? I admin it. I do things, people say. We need essence, and I say, oh, and someone says, do you need anything? And I say, essence, and they say, oh, then this hap then things happen. Nobody has told me I've done anything wrong for 200 years, so I'm doing good. I, I suppose that's fair logic? What is around here? The docks are, it thinks, east. 
This sector has inns, barracks and a shaping post for your use and enjoyment. Holding one is east and holding two is north. How can I get to the docks? The gateway is to the southeast. Just ask the guards there. They will gladly let a shaper through. Can you unlock any of the doors outside? No, but I have a key thing. I can give it to my supervisor. Um, oh, I've just been made your supervisor. You have? I am glad. I haven't had a supervisor for a long time. You are a clicking noise coming from one of the cabinets. Yeah, I, I didn't... Uh, I didn't think he would exactly question it. <laughs> I have another question. Um, how long have you been waiting for instructions? It blinks a few times. I forget. I think it has been a while. I don't know. Um, do you know anything about the Dean Forge? Should I? <laughs> Fair enough. Do you know anything about why this island was abandoned? It was? Oh no, I'm all alone. Now I'm scared. <laughs> okay, this is a weird servant mine. Can you do anything about the rogues outside? There are rogues outside? I was wondering why it was so noisy. <laughs> Uh, nobody's been here to threaten you? I think I remember visitors. Not long ago, but I forget. Remembering takes energy. Do you need nutrient fluid? Oh, nutrient fluid. I said solution. I feel like my word's even better. Do you need nutrient fluid? No, I would rather just be sleepy. <laughs> okay, I think they, uh, they might have messed up a couple of things and they made this guy. He's like a, he's a bit slothy. Um. Oh, right. Okay, that's all then. And... That's all for now. Okay. That's fine. I mean, you open the case. Inside you find two empty ceramic jars, some crumbled documents, and a large iron key. Did I get the key? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, I was like, I mean, to be fair, I don't even necessarily want him to do anything about the things, because I think we're getting XP. That's not... Well, what are we getting? Oh, really? Only four? Ew, all right. That's not great. No matter. Um... Hello Guardians, how you doing? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess let's explore first, then we can go around and handle those doors. Whoops. I tried to uh, ground loot the uh, thing before I grabbed it. My bad. Alright, let's blast you away real quick. Man, we're, um, considering we haven't sort of specced into anything combat-wise, I feel like our damage has actually gone up pretty well. Although even now, I think our firebolts, like, must be like level 3 now, right? Yeah, that's not bad. We should really be using Sierra more too. I mean, obviously we as so we've we're more buffy, but there is still like combat like this where we don't really need to that much. Although haste is probably always a given to be helpful, isn't it? Hmm. I suppose it doesn't even matter for battles that are that short where haste isn't a factor. Like, you know, like these at worst with some fuck ups, maybe one of our guys would die, but there's not any significant threat that I feel from them at least. Uh, that's probably a stretch, yeah. Okay, can't go that far. Maybe. <laughs> Unlikely. Alright, uh, yeah, let's haste up then, why not? May as well. So it's, it's, I think it's always generally helpful, even if not necessary. Uh, and you'll just have to move up. You can't do much with that. Can you? No, you can't. Uh, it sucks when they like you have to waste turns like that. I suppose if you're more strategic with your setup, you can probably avoid it, though. No matter. We'll get through. Uh, how's everyone doing? Okay, we're all good on health. You can get that far, fortunately. Very good. Uh, can you... Can you hit that one from there? Ah, that was a waste. Okay. I thought maybe. Just? No? Maybe? Ah. One of you guys. Ah, uh, yeah, you can do the leap. Very good. And... Nope. Close. One more. There we go. Yeah, 4 XP isn't great, but, well, I was going to say it's something, but honestly, it's really not much, is it? Ooh, alright, more of those. So yeah, what are we, uh, what are we looking at? Yeah, we got like 1128 to go. 1128, yeah. That's, however those words would be put together, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I think we've actually almost cleared here, surprisingly. It's only going to be uh, a couple of rooms left, I think. So I don't know if this is then going to lead to like an actual dock then, it made it sound like maybe. Um, don't, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, do we, yes? I assume we could use the key on that. Yeah, one of your key unlocks the box, very good. Although I, did it not unlock this? No? Did you unlock that? Uh... Maybe that? 
I mean, there's three ways to get in here, apparently. I don't know. Alright, uh, let's go... Do, do, do. Let's go over here. I guess we'll, um... Yeah, okay, we can go to the corner. Yeah, okay, we'll go to the corner first. Then we'll go there, then we'll try that. Then we may have to try that. Oh! Oh, okay. So maybe that was... You needed both of them to unlock that. Possibly. Because I assume that must be the east gate then. Okay. That makes sense. And come on, canister. Canister? Feels like a canister spot. No? Ah. That's a little disappointing. Really? Ah. Huh. I mean, we can get our essence back and heal. That's cool. It's just not really necessary for us right now. Ah, that's disappointing. That felt like the fitting spot for a canister. Alright. Let's uh, go down here. I don't know why there's a double door for that. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, maybe a canister? Well, it doesn't feel as fitting. It's And shit, I'm clicked on the claw bug. My bad. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Something delicious? Oh, it is. I mean, it's probably not very delicious, actually, but it is desired, so... Sure. Whatever. <laughs> um, and yeah, we have some stuff. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. What? Thard skin? Thard skin. Lovely. <laughs> That's a, a questionable item, to say the least. Uh, steel breastplate, okay. Is that, uh... Is it the best one we have? Like, we've got the lesser version, don't we? Or do we have that? Right? Yeah. So I guess we have... Yeah, we've got an upgrade one. Okay, that's pretty nice then. Plus 15% of stun resistance. I mean, that's no joke. Knocks off 10% chance to hit, though, which is... Also no joke. Although I suppose if you're, um... Yeah, I suppose if you're, like, got a small enough crew that sort of pushes your levels high enough, then that's less of a... Oh, I guess that's only me, though, not the crew. Hmm. Still, I guess if you're focused on buffing, then... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, days. Oh, alright. Sure. Thank you. I'll take a days upgrade. Uh, I haven't used it as much recently, but it's definitely an important uh, tool, so... Yeah. That works. Um... Are we good? Have I missed anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. Is this open? Yes it is. Okay. And where does this go then? Oh! Hello! Oh, you've got a name? Gath? That's interesting. Why do you have a name? Alright, well I'm gonna just sear you. Don't know why, but... Seem like a good idea. Do that. Get some of that going. Get a good smack going. Oh, come on. That, that, that's not cool. Really? Damn doors. We have to, like, move you up so it opens or... No? It's kind of awkward. Were you... Really? Okay, there we go. That's, uh... Yeah. It's had awkward. Ooh. Alright. Didn't even get a hit off us. Ooh, 70 XP, nice. I don't know, were they just a guard or something? Oh, this uh, shield on the ground. Alright. So, where do you lead? Oh. So it does just go here. Well, isn't that weird? That's really weird, right? Because there's... There's no way you can get here except for the cave, right? Like, I feel like this would make sense if there was an alternative way to get here that skips the refugee cave, but as far as I know, th th this is the only way to actually do it. Huh. Ah, uh, da da. Okay, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm just a little bit confused on... Oh, I suppose it does make two different entrances, so... Maybe this is a better entrance? I don't know. Let's head there, though. Alright. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so I guess the that last area didn't really amount to much other than the day's canister. 
You have reached the main docks of Susha Island. It's another huge rune. Once supplies and creations entered and exited the island through here. Now you would be lucky if you found anything useful, like a boat. There is a tapestry bearing the symbol of the shapers hanging by you. At first you ignore it. Then you realize something. It is new. It was brought here off it was brought here from off island. Someone hung it here recently, claiming this rune. Okay, so this yeah, I, I reckon this Oh my hello. Um, I was going to say, yeah, oh god damn it, I was about to open the map. It's going, okay. So what I was going to say and point to was that I assume then that this must be what Eula referenced and where there may be shapers, so that could be interesting. Um, I'm also just realizing my recorder battery is really damn low for some reason. I thought I had changed it, but apparently I may not have. So I think I'm going to have to uh, do a bit of a swap over after this fight. Oh, these guys are not... Oh yeah, these are not really strong, are they? I mean, level 9's not nothing, but... These are not as threatening as they first looked to me. Alright, hit that one. Very good. Uh, you're close, so you can go the back one. And then you. And then you finish up. Very good. Alright, well, if there's shapers here, that is definitely going to be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I need to... Yeah, I'll, I'll be... Uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we should be good to go. And this little one just creeped up on us when I unpaused, so... Hello, Mr. Level 6. Which, uh... Yeah, I've got to say, Level 6 is definitely not threatening. It's, uh... That's fine. We'll take the... Wait, really? Did we get no AXP for that? Okay, apparently that's low enough that we don't even get a 0 or a 1 showing here. We just don't even get AXP measured at all. Oh, well, okay, these are in a little nest here. Interesting. Um, also, I'm thinking, like, if, if shapers have, like, settled here or whatever, why are there rogues around? Or did we just blast someone's creations? I don't know there was a nest. Hmm, I guess both are... Oh, hello, we have Drake. No, wait, not Drakes. The other things that aren't Drakes that I always forget the name of. Yeah, Glad... Glad? Glark? Glark, right? I have even said that before. It's Glark, I guess. Glark? Glark? Yeah. I, I guess Glark. Sounds a little... Rolls off the tongue a little weird. I think it's, uh... I think that's correct, though. Uh, yeah, I'm still not really sure the value of these guys so much. They're level 10 here, so that's, uh... That's not a joke. But, yeah, I don't know. They, they just seem a lot like the, uh, claw bugs to me. I mean, they even seem to share the same attack animation, but... I mean, that not that necessarily means anything, but... I don't know, it stood out. Uh, I don't think we really need a haste yet. All good there. Alright, yeah, because we went up in that corner and got it refilled. I was like, wait, why do we have so much? And I need to cough. Okay, hopefully that was muted. I just really need to... Oof, I need to let that cough out. It was like a little tickle. It was like bothering the shit out of me. Oh, good now. Um, oop. That looks like a dead shore, though. So I'm guessing that this is going to be the in interior, if there are shapers here. I mean, I really don't know what to expect, like, um... Because if there's shapers here, that could be, uh... Like, in info-wise, I mean, I... Like, are we going to learn some crazy shit? Like, are they going to be friendly or not? I... I feel like there's a lot of possibilities when we could be, you know, meeting uh, another shaper for the first time, like... Oh, okay, there's some shit there. And that looks like a Sholo mage, right? You find the body of an outsider wizard, yeah. She was struck down from a distance by a large, fiery missile. She didn't have a chance of surviving the massive trauma. Most of her supplies were destroyed in the attack. Her weapon was taken away. You do, however, see a giant... A glint of metal at her hand. It turns out to be a key. It is silver and bears small, delicate runes along its length. You take it. Oh, okay. Sea chest key. Interesting. Why does that sound familiar? Sea chest key. I don't know. I mean, the, the sea chest thing. I don't know. Something about it. I might be just forgetting, misremembering. I, I don't know. Yeah, it just may sound familiar for no particular reason. That's fine. Let's take a look in here. Oh, okay. Bunch of piles to loot, maybe? You start to search through the bags of rotting wheat. You don't get very far. Some of the spores in the sacks make you extremely ill. You back away. Okay. Stacking some poison on myself, apparently. That's always lovely. Still, I don't want to check them. 
Okay. That was... Alright, I guess these are storeroom type things or something. What about you? I guess let's just open them up. What do we got? Oh, the same room. Oh, hello! Wasn't, uh... Okay, um... Alright, let's haste up. And... Okay... Let's go... That... And then there. I don't want to clog up the doorway. I don't think I can acid uh, a pylon thingy. Yeah, that, that, did, that seemed like a bit of a stretch. Alright, can you leap from there? Yes, you can. Very good. Let's get you guys. Oh, alright. It's more distance than I was expecting. It's alright. What level is this thing? Alright, 147 health to go. Can you guys smash that out? Some crazy hits. Oh, 23, buddy. That's a little disappointing. What about a nice 90? Ah. Alright, that's fine. We can... we can... Survive? Yes, I think. Maybe. Alright, um... Oh, Benny, you are down. Oh, alright. Um... Do, 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 do. What do I want to do? Um, yeah, I think I will actually go with a heal. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Uh, and you can just go give that a smack. Very good. That's a, that was a good smack, actually. Very nice. Oh, shit. Misclicked. Yeah, I, I, mm. I, it really bothers me how, like, the clickable area for a lot of uh, enemies isn't uh, the full thing. It's only the bottom part. So uh, threw me a few times. Oh, you fucking bitch. Ah, oh. well, jeez, Thad, you only just survived that. Iron claw bug, not so much. Damn, that was a uh, that was quite the hit. All right, let's throw a quick save down and get you guys healed up and myself actually. Yeah, and we don't have enough essence to get claw bug back yet, which we probably want to do sooner than later though. Damn, was not expecting that. That's crazy. That was quite... Yeah, I should have known they explode. That's... Feels like something I would have remembered if I had used my brain for a couple seconds. Ah. Uh, oh, shit. Value 800. Okay. 5 cent... Ah, uh, actually not that really helpful to me, I don't think. It's fine, though. can sell them if we need to. Okay, so nothing much actually... Oh shit, there is a canister in here. Did not see that. What do we got? Essence lances. Oh, sure. Sure, that's that, right? Okay, so double check. I'll take an upgrade to the Force Lightning. It's, uh... Don't use it too much, but it's nice to have. Oop. Discipline wand. Very good. Some shit to sell. Okay, we're like loaded up with stuff here, apparently. We'll take all those. Sure. Okay, uh, there's just a little area. The main area must be down here. Which, um, yeah, I don't know how we'll be received. So let's actually jump back real quick. Uh, I'd prefer to have our full party here. Um, oh, interesting. Oh my god, of course, that's, there's a friggin' quest for the sea chest. Of course. How did, what, ah, uh, okay. So, yes, there is a hidden group of troll invaders in the cave east of Kag. The leader, Marsha, asks you to recover a key from the docks at the southeast corner of the island. You will open a sea chest in her chambers, which contains valuable information about the child. Yeah, I, uh, I'd completely, like, I knew that we were, like, um, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I mean, it's, I knew that, like, ah, uh, don't mind me. My, my, it, it, it yeah. If, you, if you've made it this many parts, you, you've, you've seen my brains. Shortcomings. Uh, okay, that's good though. Let's get uh, let's get you back, buddy. Still don't have a name for you, unfortunately, but I do appreciate your efforts. Uh, want that? Think that? That? Was that? Did we have the last one? We probably did. Okay, twenty-four essence. Yeah, we definitely had something else. Um. Oh yeah, it would have just been that then, right? Although... Wait. What are these guys at? Oh no, we did have... Yeah, that, uh... Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Let's put you up there. 
So how are these guys doing? Okay, they're, they're fully upgraded on levels. It's only Thad that we could do one more on. But that would make it poor. Which I think I want to avoid. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Let's not get caught up on that. Uh, yep, alright, good. So, let's, uh, well actually... So have we done the quest then? Oh! This is the other entrance. Ah, oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, so have we done the quest then? Because it, it, it we only, it, uh, it said recover sea chest there on the map, but it's, we had to get the key, right? Not a, so, I guess we've done that. Um, you see an ominous glowing crystal spire not far ahead. When you recognize what it is, you get a sinking feeling. It's a defense pylon, a mindless, extremely dangerous creation. It is a crystal cylinder full of essence and organic goo. When active, it is capable of incinerating nearby intruders. When you get close, it begins to pulse. It is active and dangerous. Sometimes these pylons have mechanisms that enable you to deactivate them, but you can't see anything of the sort nearby. Pylons are very difficult to kill, and you may need to use mechanics or self to get past them. If you can't get past them, look for a different route through Susha Island. Okay, that's a significant warning, but I'm pretty sure we just dealt with one of these already, didn't we? So... Yeah... Uh... Oh, shit! And there's another one. Okay, um... I mean, I think we can deal with this for the most part, right? Wait, how much did you just take? You did take a lot of damage then, but... I prefer to haste first. Uh... Yeah, let's haste. Um... I'm gonna assume that one... Well, actually, fuck, we... Hmm. This may have been a mistake. Yeah, dealing with multiple of them, that's different. I, uh, if this one's range can't hit us from in here, then we're okay. If it can, we may not be okay. So, I guess we'll see. Because <laughs> uh, we can take this down pretty fast as long as our guys all get hits off. Although, what's with these guys? Like, they don't seem to do very good damage on these. Is that... Something about them, or... Ooh, that was good. Yes, I don't want him getting hit, but much better than it going that way and hitting multiple. Okay, um... Yeah, he needs a heal for sure. Definitely worth it. Although, okay, let's, um... Yeah, if we put a... Put you around this side, that way... If it goes either way, it'll only be hitting one of them. Which would be a lot better. I assume I can't stun it, but let's give it a good smack. Ooh, that was, that was nice. Ah, bitch. Ah, uh, poor Clawbug, man. It was a good, it was a good fight, though. So I, I appreciate it. We need to go this way now. Uh, okay. That was, uh, one at a time, apparently. Let's jump back. Uh, you're lucky you don't have, well, I guess it's Clawbug the third now, isn't it? I am, well. Wait, can I not do that? Well. Oh wait, I was just a, you get, what, Claw? Claw. I don't like that name. It's too poor. <laughs> I mean, not that the names have been great, but. I don't know. Claw? Temporary name. Claw can be the nickname. And you probably need some upgrades that I just missed. Uh, yes, Claw can be the nickname for Iron Clawbug until you have a more interesting name. Though something makes me feel like it's gonna be like, you know, ten parts later and it'll still be named Claw. Uh... I feel like I want something a tad more interesting, although Thad is... <laughs> the Thad is named Thad, and we have Kenny, Lenny, and Benny, so... Yeah, that's totally normal and fine and... menacing. <laughs> okay, well, let's do, uh... I guess if we go this way, wait, is there... I guess there's no telling how many of them there are. There could be others, couldn't there? Let's check these. Okay, check that one. Oop. Spray baton. Hello, of course. Okay. So, I guess that um, clearing out the other way so you can come from there definitely has its benefits. But I'm also curious, is this contained? Like, what's the deal here? Like... 
Actually, yeah, let's not do, let's not, um, let's go this way. Let's go back out. Because, and I think that we're better off going the other way. Um, like, I still want to clear it all out. I'm not going to um, not be clearing them, but I, um, I think we're better off going from the other direction either way. Because, um, wait, how much, do we get, like, any, some nice EXP from that? I don't know what it was. Oh, 10. Okay, so it's not even, like, any crazy amount of XP. If it was a bunch of XP, I'd be, uh, I'd consider otherwise, but I think that we are better off going this way, and then once we've cleared out, like, if that doesn't, you know, disable them or anything like that, then we can go and clear them out sort of thing. Um, but yeah, also just to double check this, right? So it is, yeah, it's just a key, so I, I assume we've already done that. Um, so I guess that's good. Let's heal you up just for, uh, good measure. And you know, I'm just gonna like heat my tea real quick. Okay, well, I actually had to change my recorder battery again. I don't know what the hell happened. I like, I have a set of like rechargeable batteries in this case, and I put the ones that I've used up one way on the right side, and the charged ones are on the left side. Uh, apparently, a couple mustn't have finished charging or something because that was already showing like a little slither, but this one's good. Uh, yeah. But anyway, back to it. Got my very small amount of warm tea. Wasn't much left, but it was like, I really wanted to drink it. I was enjoying it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I assume we're going to find some shapers now, or at least, in theory. Let's loot along the way, not miss anything, hopefully. And yes, we have the actual docks in. Oh! That's a shaper boat. Ah, alright. Already got some intrigue then. Can we, uh, what, steal a boat? Game over? Finish the game? <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of cool if that was an option here, like, you could just all of a sudden be like, hey, let's steal this boat, game done. Like, I wouldn't do it, but I'd kind of love if that was an option, you know? <laughs> like, if you play this game, like, you roleplayed the idea, you don't give a fuck about anything, all you want to do is get the hell off the island, and you just got to make it here, and be like, ooh, free boat. Uh, there is a living craft waiting at the stock. It is a thin, exhausted specimen, but it might be able to return you to the mainland. However, when you get close to it, it snarls at you. It refuses to obey. These creatures are legendarily stubborn. You doubt they will ever be able to mentally overpower it. Ah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. The shapers are upstairs. Oh, right, you're a agent or guardian, I guess. You reach the old customs office of the docks. Inside it, someone is waiting for you. A human. Not a Sholai either. One of your people. He is a common, but his armor bears a symbol of servitude to the shapers. He was sitting in a chair, sharpening his blade. When he sees you, he leaps to his feet. A shaper. A true shaper at last. A true shaper? Interesting. I am Don Jones. I am guarding other shapers. They are upstairs. They all want to see you, I am sure. This is a great day. It just, uh, a shaper. Uh, no, a true shaper. That's a... Uh, Interesting phrasing, like are the ones upstairs not true shapers, or is it just because you've been dealing with so many people on the island that aren't shapers? I don't know. Uh, and yeah, I'm guessing that that must lead all around to there then. Which said, I still want to clear out, but... Wait, did we check that? I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> There's always goodies that I end up missing. And apparently they've just been like relaxing out here, like we're doing some fishing or something. Okay, oh I did check that. Fish, right, makes sense. Uh, holding one. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, so this place must be just littered with those things. Which, I mean, not my favorite thing to fight, but there, there's always the chance of canisters and things, so I don't really want to ignore it. And there's some blood on it. Oh, shit! You, you didn't want to tell us about that? You didn't think that maybe we would want to know about that? Sure, that's fine. Uh, let's haste up, I suppose. And that's about all we can do. All right, you get in there. Can you hit all of them? Very good. Yeah, I mean, oh, damn table. Okay. Um, what are, uh, all right, let's go with the claw bug. I want to get at least one of them down. Did you get another? Oh, you got another hit. Awesome. Ah, so close. There we go, got one down. Uh, let's get you in there. I prefer to try and take this down first, although we may regret that. Oh shit, that was too far. That's alright. 
yeah, that was that was why I was thinking about regretting it. Oh man, the fact that they can double hit like that is ridiculous. Um, let's use some healing spores. It's an average option, but it's probably what we're best to do. All right, let's get a little bit of spread going. Um, so hopefully it. Uh, let's try and stun it. I assume we can't, but. Um, well, I was saying, yeah, hopefully it doesn't actually shoot this way. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> ah, miss. Not good, not good. Alright, blast that, please. Um, you... Maybe go... There? Uh, I guess that's still something. And... Oh, you got that, very good. Let's get rid of you. Now we can move you over to there. Any spread that we can get is good, I figure. Oh, damn! Man, the poor claw bug. He claw, claw, I should say. Claw is not doing so well. Um, right. How much? Uh, it's got 124 left. All right. I think we should just blast it. I think it's probably the way to go. I don't think it's worth doing any heals. Although it's going to explode, and that's going to happen. Ah, Lenny. Lenny, my boy. Ah. Okay. That. Uh, Okay, I guess we have to do some recreating, which, again, thanks, Guy. This was a customs officer's old transaction to records like the North Wall. The Shabers from Off Island haven't been here. Haven't been in here, probably because of the pylon. Oh, the Shabers from Off Island haven't been in here. What? It's just... Okay. I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. It's, just, it's a pretty small build, and what, they didn't think to look in the one other room downstairs? Seems a little bit weird. Thanks, uh, thanks for that. I, I still blame you. Look, look, look at this shit. Uh, I mean, alright. As much as I want to chat, I don't know if things are going to go wrong, you know? So, let's do a real quick, uh, it's, I mean, it's barely a walk just back to them, so. We're better off to get healed up, I think. And, uh, it was unexpected. Uh, let's get Kaz real quick. Get these guys going. Okay, we have. What are you guys? You're that. Lenny. Lenny's definitely been taking the most damage. That's for sure. Lenny the sixth. Very good. All upgraded. And that. You know, I've sort of been ignoring the pounce thing, but I don't know. Maybe it has potential. Hmm. Right. Let's do that. Let's get you back. Uh, damn it. I wish you could right click to go backwards on these. It's a, it's a little thing, but it would be a... It's a nice when little features like that exist. Um, claw. Oh, whoops. Keys. Claw the fourth. Not doing so well, buddy, but... I do appreciate your efforts. Uh, like that, right? I think. And we should have 20 left. Yes, we do. Alright, let's get... Uh, that. Yeah, okay, there we go. All good. And let's go have a little chat. And this is not the right way. Now let's go have a little chat. Alright. So yes, I do not know what to expect from this. Um, I don't know why they're here, for one. How they came here. Um, yeah, it's sort of... It's very up in the air. Let's talk to um, Don Johns first. Don Johns stands at attention. As a common, he is paying a shaper the respect you are due. The shapers wait upstairs, shaper. I stand guard and watch for intruders. What are you watching for? Human invaders, rogues, hostile serviles. We common watch while the shapers do their valuable work. Any dangers I should know about? This old ruin is full of dangers. He nods to the door to the southwest. There are even hazards in the office. We have to be careful what we eliminate. He yeah, could have warned me when I was walking, but sure. I'd like to know more about. I'd like to know more about why you were here. Please talk to the Shabers upstairs. I agree with everything they say. Okay, at ease. Thank you, Shaber. He sits and returns, attending his weapons. Uh. Oh, I guess that's all. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go see. Oh, Bernard. Ah, I see these Shabers have pretty good. Uh, they know how to name things. That's a <laughs> Bernard. That's a fantastic battle alpha name. I come from a mighty line. You're a tad blue, buddy. Thracker Zod, alright. You, 
you wow, you yes interesting. Oh, all right. Some actually unique looking NPCs. Time for purging. Kevin and Arixi. Okay. Oh, look, it's just a one. I'll perfect myself. That's a interesting, interesting thing to say. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Terrestia's leaders. There are two sorts of humans, shapers and common. The common are the regular folks of Terrestia. Peasants, soldiers, tinkers, ordinary humans. They form their own cities, organizations, and political hierarchies. They are all, they are also almost, they are also mostly allowed to rule Terrestia. Everything they do is subject to approval or rejection. So, sorry, my reading's bad here. They are also mostly allowed to rule Terrestia. Everything they do is subject to approval or rejection by the Shapers, though the Shapers rarely bother to interfere. The rule of the Shapers is light but firm. Really? Light but firm, even though they, like, will k kill people if they, you know, get involved with magic and shit? The common can learn magic, but they are forbidden from attempting the Shaper arts upon penalty of death. Oh, okay. That's still, you know, not good, but I, I didn't realize that, uh, like, the common folk could actually learn magic then. Okay. To become a shaper, the common must pass a series of difficult tests as a child. Being accepted as a shaper is rare, but there are no second chances. Uh, okay. That's, a, that's an interesting read there. Hmm. I will have a patron. I come from a mighty line. I'll protect, I'll perfect myself. What's up with you? You're weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Kevin. There is a guardian sitting across from the agent. He is grim and gruff, like so many of their class. He is checking his pods and spore pouches and patching holes in his armor. He's been in battle recently. He nods to you. I am Kevin, he says. I guard Thrakazod and Erixi. His voice is flat and tired. What are you doing on this island? It is Thrakazod's expedition. Erixi also has plans. I am here to guard. You should talk to them. What is Thrakaz Thrakazod trying to do? Scav scavenge valuable toys from a barred island, which seems like a good idea to him. What does Arixi want? To kill a bunch of lowly rogues, pests, Arixi mutters, pests, but with big ideas. Okay. Why did you choose to join Thrakazod? He sighs. I am like him, a shaper without a patron. I hunt for glory to prove myself. I don't know if this island has glory or disaster. Seen battle lately? Kevin nods. For a bard, for a bard abandoned island, Susha is very active. Rogues, alien evaders, servile factions. Sometimes they come to raid us. We have to teach them we are not easy targets. Okay. Uh, I mean, I do need to escape, so I need to escape Sushan. So do we. It is urgent that we leave. We need to keep our ship. When we get home, we can tell them about you. Okay. Hmm, goodbye. He sets down his shield, picks up a baton, and starts to feed it. Alright, fair enough. Well, he didn't seem unfriendly. Arixi, a young agent, sits and stares into the fire. She sips hot tea, lost in her thought. I need some tea too. She occasionally whispers something to herself. Her armor is dirty and torn, and a wand hangs at her side. As you start to introduce yourself, she looks up at you. I am Arixi, a young shaper, trapped. Like yourself, pleased to meet you. You might have some skill to move through this island, where, where you are not allowed to be. She speaks in odd sentences. Is it just me? Like, that, that read funny to me. It's like, it's like there was full stops where there'd be commas or something. No, I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I'm, I'm not great with that shit, so don't mind me. Uh, thank you, I am confident. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. Rixie shrugs a little. I hope our acquaintance is short. I hope we both escape from this trap soon. After the disaster is cleaned up a bit, of course. Uh, disaster? This is supposedly Bard Island. It's loaded with outsiders, invaders, and rogues. Deadly magic, dangerous philosophies. This island needs a purging. Clean it up a bit so we can see the true rot better. I'll speak with you about it. Okay, how did you come to be here? I was traveling on our living craft with Thrakazod and Kevin, young shavers looking to prove ourselves to our masters. Oh, we had a glorious plan. Okay, tell me about Thrakazod. He's the shaper sort. Of, he's the shaper sort of shaper in the net. What? He's the shaper sort of shaper. Is is that big, like in re regards like agents and shit? Is is that what they're saying? It's it's a it's a weird thing. Anyway, he's the shaper sort of shaper. In the next room, going through his exercises for the 10,000th time, as if it helps. He has a plan. He wants to prove himself by finding useful secrets on a barred island. We argued about it. I am practical. He is... She shrugs. When we get home, the masters will decide which of us was correct. Tell me about Kevin. Our quiet guardian friend? She looks at the guardian. He nods and grunts. He keeps us alive. He wants to prove his competence at battle. 
be elevated that way. He's doing well so far, truth be told. Kevin doesn't respond. What was your original plan? We heard rumours of this of the island chain to the north, extending out into the western sea. Not far off of the Terrestrian coast, mysterious excesses of rogues seems like a good place to look for glory. Then a shoal I ship gave chase to us not far from here, drove us into the mist. Our exhausted craft landed on the first island that could find, Susha Island. Ugh, so you landed on a bad island. We did, not intentionally. That will weigh in our favour when we are judged after our escape. Aren't you concerned about punishment for being here? Very much so. We need to prove we should not be executed. We must do so by displaying value, and we haven't done this yet. I have a way that we can earn our pardon, but we three are not strong enough to carry out the plan. I will need help. Well, let, let me give you a better plan. Don't tell anyone. Like, like seriously. What? Like, you, they, they're not going to know where you've been. Like, lie. <laughs> it's not hard. I mean, seriously. Are we talking about punishment for something that's, like, completely arbitrary? Like, sure, like, you know, if it's barred for a reason and you went there, you've broken the law, but you literally described a pretty genuine accident coming here, so... Um, yeah. Arixi sips her tea and stares into the fire. She acts calm, but her muscles are tense and her eyelids switch. Whenever the Guardian makes an unexpected sound, she lets out a low hiss. Alright, so something a bit between them. How did you come to be here? I was traveling on our living... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, we went through that. Okay. Uh, I have another question. I'd like to know more about you. Ask instead about Susha Island, for that is the matter of greatest interest. If you want to hear about interesting tales, you should talk to Thrakazod. He is full of them. So many of them. As for me, know that I am a loyal agent, and I am determined to show excellence and get a fine patron. Uh, okay. I will respect your privacy. She nods and says no more on the subject. What is your mission now? Hunting rogues. What better purpose is there for Shaper without a patron? And there are rogues aplenty on Susha Island. Not merely a Fiora or Thads either, but true rogues. A real peril hides here. What is this great peril? The servile colonies. They seem weak, yes. Just a scattering of small towns. Yet they are deadly. They are independent. They have formed sex. They have beliefs. This must be dealt with. It is lucky you are here. I need your help. Um... You are worried so much about ser mere servos. Do you know much about the servile sex? Why should I help you? Do you know much about the servile sex? No, we know they exist, but we are trapped here. We need to learn more about them, what they believe, how dangerous they are. Um, why should I help you? One, because killing rogues is your duty as a shaper, no matter how sympathetic they seem at first. And two, because you need to prove your visit to this barred island has improved the safety of shapers everywhere. What exactly do you want from me? Our paths to the rest of Susha Island are blocked by a servile settlement called Kaz. The servals there are strange, crude, violent, scarred, tattooed. They won't let us get close, but they are clearly organized. I need to learn about them. What do I need to learn? I mean, I was asking. I wasn't saying I'm going to help. Their organization, their principles, who their leader is. Talk to the leader and find out their beliefs. I would know the nature of their infection. Okay, I have another question. Oh yeah, so I could actually answer that now, I guess. I need to be going. Yes, be careful out there. A rogue is always dangerous, no matter how weak it appears. Okay. Um, I mean... I guess nothing they're saying is, uh, surprising. You know? Um, interesting though. Okay. Oh man, I am having no luck today. I just looked over at my recorder, and what did it say? Full card. And it had stopped. Fortunately, it looks like it went up until just before I started talking to this guy. So all that was actually lost was me talking to this guy. Uh, so yes, we'll have to talk to him again. Not a big deal though. Uh, still unfortunate, but yeah, between the batteries and that, man, not having a, not having a great day. But anyway, so just gonna pretend I didn't talk. Wait, should I reload it? Maybe I should reload. Uh, what's the, uh, what is the shortcut for that anyway? Oh man, they're right next to each other. I'm surprised I haven't uh, accidentally did that. This is a cord. Yeah, that's fine. We should be just here, right? Uh, or did I already... Okay, that's fine. I, I don't know if we've talked to him or not now, but... It should be pretty much the same. Okay. There is an actual shaper in this hall. When you enter, this young man is lost in concentration. He waves his hands and a tiny artilla forms in the circle. He shakes his head and waves his hands. It vanishes. He repeats the exercise. Then, his essence drained, he absorbs his last artilla and returns to reality. He sees you staring at him. Oh sorry, just exercises. You, you're a shaper? 
Trap like me. I place some guards outside. I'll make sure they don't attack you. He steps through the circle and shakes your hand vigorously. I am Thrakazod. It is so good to meet. It is so good to meet you. The three of us can use help dealing with the mess we're trapped in. I am pleased to meet another shaper. As am I. We live a lonely life, the three of us. Erexi, Kevin and I keep a lonely vigil, surrounded by madness. I see you are a young initiate, but you have learned fast, yes? We could use your help. My help? Susha Island was barred. It should have been an inert place. Whatever poison is here, frozen away. But this island is a nest of activity and perversion. We need to calm the waters before we can responsibly depart, and you can help. Lucky you. Okay. What are you doing here? We were trapped. Three shapers, undervalued, sailing the seas, heading to the remote islands to the west, searching. What are you looking for, exactly? Turmoil, chaos, missions. Ways to prove ourselves. We three are shapers, but we have not yet earned patrons, so we wander, looking for ways to show our skill. Yeah, so one thing I commented here was like, what's with the patrons thing? Like, I figured shapers are pretty much stand on their own, but is it sort of like new shapers have like senior pa uh, shapers as patrons or something? Like, I, I'm not really sure what's up with that. Hmm. Uh, where were you heading? We heard rumors. Chaos and rogues in the islands off the northern Terrestria. If we could aid the commons, we could show our competence. We had no idea how bad things were in these islands. How did you land on Susha Island? We planned to pass this island, but a foreign ship sighted us. We fled into a storm and our exhausted craft landed on the first it saw. Turns out our safe haven was barred. Bad luck. This island is barred. Yes, yes it is. Of course, we know. We should not be here. Then again, we are shapers. There are ways for us to legally be here. We just need to prove when we get home that we acted for the good of the shapers. Why don't you leave? We need to show that our time on Susha Island did more good than harm. We also need to do enough to prove that we are worthy of patrons. We have a lot of ambition. I want to evaluate the state of Shaper inventions on this island. Arixi has her own mission. Kevin has a goal as well. What does Arixi want? To purge rogues. Honestly, I think her particular target is no importance. We have argued in the end. We have argued. In the end, it will be up to the Shapers who had the right goal. What does Kevin want? Thrakazod shrugs. He's a guardian. He guards us. Where we must leave our little hiding when we must leave our little hiding place, he comes with us and keeps us safe. He only wants to display how well he can fight. Illustrious family? Yes, my father is Meltar, you see, a great shaper. He has developed three lasting improvements for the Volish and two for the Wingbolt. Wingbolt? Before his end, he may get permission to try to develop a whole new line. Remarkable man. Sounds skilled, but you've never heard of him. I trained as a shaper, hoping to live up to his example, so I studied for years and endured the training. What goal? To be a shaper like my father, the great Meltar. I entrained and trained, learned to master essence, and endured the testing. How did your testing go? Miserably, I'm afraid. I passed. I became a shaper. But I shamed Meltar. I did not pass well. I attained the worst balance. Worst balance? I have license to use our I have license to use our powers, but I have no patron. Kevin and Arixia are in the same trap. We are free shapers, wandering the world and tending to it, hoping for a proper patron. What sort of patron did you want? Someone with influence, someone with power and many licenses for research. In the great halls of the Shaper Council will be best, of course, but there are many high there are many mighty cities on Terrestia. Pericalia? Pericalia is nice most of the year. Peric per I don't know, Pericalia? How will you redeem yourself? Through wisdom, bravely, and effectiveness. I need to obtain some valuable piece of knowledge or put down a particularly nasty uprising of rogues or commons. Happily, Susha Island has the opportunities I need. Okay. What is your fate if you don't get a patron? A life of hard travel, hard work, and endless risk. Doing the many small jobs that keep the kingdom of the Shapers running. Making th making Thard's forces to defend small towns. Scouring the villages for protective Shapers, that sort of thing. Tedium, unworthy of the son of Meltar. Okay, so this is really interesting here about some of this stuff. Like, the... It seems like there's probably some pretty significant hierarchy within the Shapers then, too. Have you learned enough to gain a patron? No, I have to be careful. I have to learn enough to help the Shapers, but I have to keep whatever is dangerous on Susha Island trapped here. I have connections, though. I see the opportunities. Now I will seize them. Okay, I have another question. Uh, what sort of help? Oh, tell me your story. Or was that... Did I just do that one? Mine personally, he sighs. A tale of struggle, courage, and perseverance. A tale of determination to serve the Shapers as they serve the world. I came from an illustrious family, you see. A clan of skilled Shapers. Almost from birth, I had one goal. To pass the testing. Okay, yeah, it seemed like that option came up before we read that. Hmm. Um. 
How did your testing West balance? I want to get back. I have another question. Right. What sort of help do you need? Thrakazod grins. Now we get to business. Profit for me and for you. Many outsiders are trapped here. All mine Susha Island for treasure. All mine Susha Island for treasure. Some outsiders come to visit us. I have learned of valuable opportunities. Are you really trapped here? In a sense, our living craft is tired, but it will be ready to journey home soon. I can't leave, however, until I prove that my actions on Susha Island were forced, properly considered, and for the good of the Shapers. You get a lot of visitors here? Not lots. Our defenses are strong and we are well hidden. The rogues serve us fear us and for good reason. A few of the Shoal I have stopped by though. They are interested. They are an interesting band of visitors. Tell me about these valuable opportunities. Thrakazod grins. He looks very young. Uh, now we are talking business. Now we can seize glory. There is enough for both of us. A Shoal Eye woman came here some weeks ago. Okay, so there's the, yeah. Her name is Yula. Very odd woman. She said she was returning to her camp. She said she had an offering for me, for the Shapers. I can't leave here. Too dangerous, but you can. Find Yula's camp, get her offering, and bring it to me. Uh, see, this is why it seems like it would have made sense if Yula talking to her actually generated a quest or something. Why was Yula wandering around? The Shola are fascinated by our arts. Yula is a scout. She is sneaking around the island, gathering as many of our trinkets as she can. She knows that she won't let her she knows that we won't let her learn our powers but i told her she could collect our junk what is eula offering you uh, i'm not sure she promised it was from the main research halls a sample of some highly valuable substance from their storerooms she thought it would make a good offering to our kind why is she helping you the shawl i have multiple factions her group wants to make contact with us make friends they they come from a mighty nation over the sea they could be good allies thus the offering if we collect it for the shapers and then bring a new ally in the bargain, you and I would be in a very profit a very profitable position. Hmm, okay. Where is Yula? Uh she was vague. She said she was hiding with Inutiles to the west. That is what she said. It might take a little searching to find her. You've been travelling a lot though. You can manage it. That's all for now. Okay, so did that add a quest for her? Okay, you met a yeah, so it's sort of backwards, like were we meant to Yeah. Cause she, yeah. I don't know. It, it just seems like it should have given a quest on both ends sort of thing. Hmm. But yeah, so I guess basically we're going to have to go to Eula, get something, then bring it back here then. Uh, but interesting. He, um, uh, they didn't sort of give any, like this one's talking about purging and shit. Now I'm not sure if I, what, what to do with that. Uh, they only want some like information on the takers, I guess. Um, and I could give it, but I don't know if I want to yet. I mean, I'm sort of like a man without a country sort of thing going on. Like, I, I don't feel any particular allegiance to anyone, frankly. So, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. But, with that said, I think, uh, I think let's go give that key, I guess. I mean, I guess we'll go up there. This might be something we do next time or something. I, I don't know. Um... It was a... Uh... Right, that's right. So that was... What up here? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. So, right, we'll, we'll go to this at least. Um, how do we get to... Oh, right, it's up in this corner. Staying on the other side. So up there, I believe. Can we just walk straight there? I don't know if that's going to work or if there's been respawns or anything, but... But yeah, okay, so... Hmm, I'm not sure what to make of them shapers or like what's gonna happen with them Because I mean they're probably my best way off the island you could say But I said I, I feel no real allegiance to anyone to be honest I mean I probably like this show life action that's just exploring and shit the most if anything Hmm uh, Guess we can talk with you. I've recovered the key show it to her wonderful. Yes, you do good open the chest We will all be better First I can learn you our tongue, and then you can read inside things. Now you help us, I tell you more. We let you know what happens and who can help. Okay. Tell me everything about what is happening here. Alright, my group hide here in tunnels. We try to run west, only to find surprise. Trashkov, he deal with stu stunted people to west. These serviles, they called takers. Trashkov may deal with them. He get them to block us in and kill us. Ah. So maybe that was them trying to get us to do that job? We want to explore island, but we trapped here. We get some of us to explore. 
I go with them in return. There are, there are more of us on Susha. Good Shaolai. Not mad, but hidden. I would like to meet them. Where are they? I go with them when they sneak out. I help them find place. I come back here. Leader name is Astrov. Good Shaolai. Can trust. Find him and talk to him. Let him know how he is... Let him know how he is doing, please, if you can. Oh, let me know how he's doing, if you can, please. I'm sorry, my reading's been really bad today. He may fight against Travskov. He can help you if you want, same. Marsha hands you a letter. It is written in their language. Give to Astrov. He helps you. This tells him you from me. Okay, tell me more about Astrov. A true explorer. Greed to learn, not for power. You can trust. I trust with life. Where is Astrov? Astrov and fighters are in cave north of village, serviles called Pentil. Look hard in peaceful valley of trees. Uh, peaceful? What? Really? Oh! Is that that group that we met, but they didn't seem to have much to say or anything? Is Trejkov hunting Astrov? Yes, but Astrov explorer. Good to hide. Trejkov has few loyal fighters. Astrov hides, but good to find him fast. In the end, what do you want? We're explorers. We want to go to your land. Shape a land. Meet you. Learn and trade in peace. Trejkov offend all we are. I swear it. Hmm. Well, it does seem that way. Um. Oh, do we just... Gladly, Shaper. My knowledge weak and my skills soft, but I tell you what I can of things. She spends several hours teaching you what she knows. Her tongue is surprisingly similar to yours. You learn a fair amount of syntax and numerous verbs and nouns. You are nowhere near fluent, but you will be able to manage some crude communication. There, Shaper. We help each other now. I hope this was of use. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you. Um, and I guess we... Yeah, so we got that now, which I assume, that's like, here somewhere? There, okay. Yeah, so I think that was that little, like, that thing where we met, like, a little group, but they didn't seem to have much to say. Alright, let's check out this box, then. This is a crystal box. Shapers sometimes make them. They are rare and prized. When you start to open it, Marsha walks up and stops you. Please, Shaper, that is mine. Oh, did I just misunderstand? I thought that's what I was opening. No? Or did I... What? Did I misunderstand? I thought... Or is it this one? Oh, there is a heavy worn sea chest here. It has obviously seen many long journeys. Unlock the chest. The chest is locked. Fortunately, the key you have found at the docks open it. You open the chest. Inside you find salty, dirty clothes, some broken scrimshaw, and an old battered journal. You flip through it and find that, with concentration, you can understand it. It was the journal of Anfisa, Trajkov's assistant. They were leading an expedition across an unexplored sea. They started with three ships. A storm left them with two. When they reached Susha Island, they were starving and without hope. Landfall at Susha cost them a second ship. Once they landed, Trajkov led an expedition ashore. There, he and Anfisa found a huge shape of research facility. It was in the mountains at the northeast corner of the island. The tunnels provided shelter for all the sailors as they stocked up on food and tried to figure out what to do. Trashkov and Anfisa explored the research halls, translating documents and figured out what the Shabers were doing. Keep reading. Here, Anfisa's entries get shorter and more vague. Perhaps she was afraid that Trashkov would read her journal. She was worried about how events were developing. Uh, and Della 17. Is that a date or something? Trashkov has figured out how to use the canisters. He places a hand on, on top of one and it changes him. If the Shaper writings are to be believed, they are rewriting his genes. I don't know what that means. 21. And Della 21. Trejkov has used eight canisters. Woo. I have used none, despite his urgings. They are changing him. He can use magic now. He could never before. It is very strange. And Della 28. Trejkov grows angry very easily now. He has used every canister we have found. The current total is 20 that I know of. Oh, damn. Vit 3. We have penetrated the deepest chambers. We believe we have located the gene forge, referred to often in Shaper writings. Trejkov thinks he should use it. Only him. Vit 8. Trajkov is frustrated. His anger is frequent. He is missing something. He said he needs some gloves. I am not sure what this word means. His speech is strange sometimes. Vit 15. We know that Shapers pass this island in their living ships. Trajkov has a plan. He will abduct one using our soul ship. Or maybe his plan is already taking place. Many Sholai are loyal and he speaks with me less now. Okay, I guess that's what happened with us then. He uses more canisters. Others use them too. Oh? Okay, so there's more than just Trajkov using the canisters. 
He uses more canisters, others use them too. Tragical's warriors are loyal and strong and they anger so easily. Vit 20. We have a shaper, it is called Goetch. Gosh, I, I couldn't figure out how to say that before. Goetch. Like seriously, how is, is that? Like how do you say that? Gosh, Goetch. Go, Goetch. I, I Goetch. Like I don't know how to say that, like the, the T S C H. Go -sh -sh. I I have no idea. Uh Goetch. I'm gonna go with Goetch, even though it's wrong. We have a shaper. It is called Goetch. It talks to Trashkov. I don't know what they say. Trashkov doesn't involve me. I know they are talking about the Gene Forge. Trashkov and Goetch spend lots of time in the Gene Forge chambers. Some of us wonder when we will continue our mission. We have food, the boat is ready. Some are restless. We know though that Trashkov's path is the wisest. Ermin 1. Goetch left, taking something from Trashkov. Trashkov is furious. He called me to the Gene Forge. It is beautiful. He wants me to hunt down and kill Goetch, hiding in the wastes of the west. I told Trashkov I would kill Goetch. He showed me the Gene Forge. It has several power columns around it. Trashkov told me to stay away from them. They are unstable and can destroy the whole place. Ermin 10. I have not yet left to hunt Goetch. Trashkov confronted me, suggesting we continue our mission infuriates him. He has stopped using the canisters. He didn't say why. Ermin 25. Trashkov has returned. He and his assistants explored the island. He said they laid traps and made monsters. They also did diplomacy. He did not elaborate. Oh, so is he the one who's been, like, making things? Okay. Trashkov has set his new plan in motion. He will abduct a new shaper, a weaker one who can be molded. He will anger these strange and powerful people even more. I am sure this is the wisest course. Okay. Ermin 28. My own plans have come to be. As I write this, we are rowing away from Trashkov and his loyal and mad minions. At last I can write freely. Trashkov is mad. Why is he doing what he is doing? Where does his lust for power come from? I do, I do not know. I know this though. We must stop him. We must return to our mission. A good mission of exploration and peace. We will land near a servile village. They call it Kaz. Hopefully they know nothing of Trashkov or his plans. We can enlist their help. We have been sighted. The ship is following us. There are docks ahead though. We will land and disappear into the tunnels. It is a risky path, but I don't think they will give chase. We threw fire at the sails and the ship turned back. They will not risk the ship. The journal ends. Whew. You close the book and carefully replace it in the sea chest. Wow, alright. Whew, alright, that was a lot to take in. Um. That, yeah, that was really a lot to figure, yeah. We tell you that we have one boat left, small boat, at the dock to northeast, small dock, our last boat, since madness of Trashkov destroy all chests. And I can have it? <laughs> yes, but Trashkov figure out mines, place them, boat defended, need special one to put mines to sleep. Oh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, I remember, I thought she said something about like, talk after, like help or something, so, I didn't know if she had anything to say about the boat. Um, yeah, alright, wow. That was a lot to take in. Hmm. Okay, wow. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit going on now, don't we? <laughs> hmm. The Purging. Oh, that's a quest there. There is an agent hiding by the Eastern Dogs. Her name is Arixi. She came to Susha Island to learn her prestige and for her and her partners. She would like to enlist you in her plan. Purge rogues from the island. She asked you to go investigate Kag. Kaz. Go there and find the city's leader and learn about their beliefs. Yeah, so Kaz, I mean, the Takers are looking more and more like they may end up being an enemy, along with the bad Sholo group. But I don't know. It does sort of, it's sort of leaning that way, but it's, I obviously, like, I, on a, like a personal level, I, I look more at the higher-ups of the Takers, not, you know, all the citizens sort of thing, but... Hmm. Now, oh, alright. I think we are done here for the minute. Um... But yeah, I guess, uh, I think we're gonna have to leave it there for this one. I, uh, yeah, sort of a bit to chew on there, like, there's, um, because we've sort of gained, like, the, the Shapers, even though there's only a few of them, it's almost like another faction, you know? Because they all seem to have their own plans and stuff. Things seem to be getting dodgier and dodgier with the Takers. Um, yeah, I don't know, there's sort of a, hmm. I don't know, I feel like I'm just going to have to let that mull over a bit, but, uh... Yeah, le wait, did I just go to the wrong place? What the fuck did... Okay, I, I don't know where, I just... That was not... <laughs> wait, right? 
Yeah, why? Okay, don't mind me. There we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I have to leave it there, so... I don't know, let me know if you have any thoughts on any of that. That was, uh... Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't really know how to process that so far. It's like... There's, there's a lot going on. It's sort of hard to know... Like, it, it, there's a lot to it, <laughs> because it's like, it also comes back to, like, the Awakened and the Obeyers, they seem to be sort of disconnected from everything that's going on now, in a sense. Like, though I suspect there's probably something more going on there. Um, I'm, I'm, curi I'm curious about, like, El Harar and stuff. But, yeah, there's sort of, <laughs> it's still a lot, because it seems like potentially then Trajkov you know, wanted them to help and, like, maybe they tried to get me to go kill these guys then. Ah, yeah, I don't know, it's, um... Yeah, there's, there's sort of an odd sort of mix of people, like... Because <laughs> you got the Shapers, obviously, which... Uh, I mean, they seem to be okay with Eula and that, but then it seems like they probably want to purge this whole island and stuff. You got the Takers, got their own shit going on. Trashkov, like, who knows what the hell he's doing right now. He's apparently had an absurd amount of canisters. And also, apparently, some of his other people that work for him, too, as well. So, yeah, I don't know. There's just, uh, I said, a bit to chew on. <laughs> hmm. Which, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, um, I guess next time we'll probably just, uh, head back to Eula. And take it from there. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I uh, said I think this is just one. Need to sort of let it all sink in a little and see where we go from there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see you, Lara, again. We'll do that stuff and we'll figure it out from there. I think. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a bit of a bumpy one. Uh, battery things and then the SD card getting full and I feel like I was more stumbly than usual when it came to reading. Um, which probably doesn't help. That it's really fucking cold right now. I really should have put the heater on. It's like, it's really cold, it's like, uh, I think it's almost 6am, and it's, uh, it's fucking cold. Uh, but yeah, that aside, I just, as always, I, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying, and please like, do let me know if you have any thoughts or suggestions about any what's been going on here, it's, uh, it's all really interesting stuff. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to do my best to keep it all together in my head, because it's like, it's, uh, when it spanned, like, over two months playing this, and there's still a lot to go, it's like, it, it is hard to remember sort of the smaller details, especially when like, you know, when I'm talking constantly, it's uh, I don't know, playing it over time, it's like, it's good for remembering, yet also like my attention span is lessened, um, when I'm not just concentrating and letting it sink in when I'm also talking sort of thing, so, I don't know, I'm trying to keep it all in my head though. Ah, uh, but yeah, again, just thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.